Welcome everyone um, to our webinar today. Happy Monday. I hope that everyone's healthy and happy and um, that you had a good weekend and um, are enjoying the summer. Um, we're having our webinar today um, called Health Equity and Student Research, where we're profiling two really, really rich and important um, undergraduate research projects that were recently completed here at St. Francis Xavier University. Um, one on sexual violence and services for racialized students and also one on pandemic homelessness policy. And our hope with this is that um, it will give you some information both about the topics, but also about how um, more undergraduate students can integrate health equity and social determinants topics into their research. So next slide, Jamie. Um, before we go any further, I do want to acknowledge with thanks that NCCDH is in Mi'kmaq, which is the ancestral unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. Um, because we are a national organization, I want to extend very sincerely um, this thanks and this recognition to all of our First Nations, Inuit and Métis communities um, across this country. And I really want us all to think about um, why we do land acknowledgements and um, why we are here and the privilege um, of being here. Part of doing a land acknowledgement is also um, making a commitment to learning more about Indigenous issues and Indigenous health equity issues, um, which is something that um, I know I'm certainly working on personally. And also uh, at NCCDH, we're hoping to do um, more and more on you know, what public health can do to actually meaningfully bring the stories um, or highlight the stories really of Indigenous folks in the community. So you know, I'm committing to um, reading more of the TRC and learning more about how to do that um, in a respectful way. Next slide, Jamie. And you probably all know a little bit about our NCCs for public health. Um, there are six of us located in um, several provinces, I think five provinces actually across the country. We're the only one in the Atlantic Canada. And you can find out more about us um, at nccdh.ca. I'll get you next slide, please. And these are the objectives um, for our webinar today. We'll do two brief presentations from our two speakers, and then we'll have a discussion about um, the strategies to support integrating social justice and health equity into undergrad research, but graduate research, any type of research at a student level um, across professions. Next slide. And we have two speakers today. Um, first of all, we have Claire Joseph. She's a very enthusiastic young nurse. She's recently graduated from the Rankin School of Nursing at St. FX University. During her four years here, she became really interested in the social determinants of health and the importance of health healthy public policy and health equity um, throughout the coursework. She connected with a number of leaders on campus with similar interests and those connections inspired her to complete an honors thesis studying access to sexualized violence prevention and response services for racialized university students. And she's really a passionate um, young nurse and new newly licensed nurse as, as they both are. They've just passed those NCLEX exams. And um, she's really excited to um, share her research with you today. And Alexa Davis is our, um, our other speaker. And Alexa is also a graduate nurse from Santa Fe Rankin School of Nursing. And in her final year, she did an honors research on the COVID-19 public health policies on services that provide um, or on health services provided to homeless people experiencing homelessness in Nova Scotia. And her final placement at the North End CHC really allowed her to work right alongside nurses and other health providers um, to reach those people who are experiencing homelessness. And so she got right in there and um, worked on this issue in the, in the real, um, real world, I guess, right on the ground. She's currently working with Nova Scotia Health to um, ensure accessible COVID-19 rapid testing. Um, and she's also a very passionate and very driven young, uh, newly licensed professional nurse. Um, you're hearing my voice, Diane Oikel. I'm a knowledge translation specialist with NCCDH. And in the background, you 
um, are <laughs> being supported by Jamie Steve, our communications assistant, and I'm also being supported as we all are today by Jamie. So um, thanks very much for your help.